Here's the story of this Marshall Valve State ADV. When I first got this amp, all of the potentiometers were really scratchy, especially the master volume. And this one also cut in and cut out. So it all of a sudden, so it would all of a sudden go silent or go to a buzzing noise. In order to re-solder the master volume and spray deoxid on all of them, I had to I had to first use a hacksaw to get this knob off of the potentiometer so I could take the circuit board off of the chassis. So after I put a new potentiometer in the volume on the gain channel, I was able to re-solder the master volume and put deoxid on all of them. It was sounding great. I let it sit for six months, I took it out again, and they were all really scratchy again. And the gain on the clean channel is cutting in and cutting out a little bit, but I don't think it's the solder, I just think it's a really old pot. After a little fiddling with the pots, since it had been sitting for six months, it kind of got the contacts a little cleaner again. So I'm going to show you how it's working after it was sitting for six months and then I played with it for about an hour. We'll see what kind of shape it's in now. As far as testing the actual decibels, I'm going to have the camera exactly four feet from the amp. Now, let's turn it on. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but what's louder than the buzz from the amp right now is the cars going by outside. <laughs> I have all the knobs at 12 o'clock. So put in the camera right next to it and see if you can hear the buzz. It's audible, but this is 80 watts RMS. So we'll turn everything all the way down. And there's no difference whatsoever. So with everything at 12 o'clock and a loud guitar, that's going to be extremely loud with not that much buzz. There's no crackle in the knobs at all right now. But if you let it sit for six months, the scratchiness might come back. Alright, so let's put them all at 12 o'clock again. Uh, right now it's on the clean channel with nothing plugged in. Let's hear the clean channel with the boost. No difference at all. This does engage the little tube in the preamp that gives it distortion. So let's put it on the, uh, on the boost channel. Again, there's no change in the noise. And this is everything at 12. Now let's listen to with the gain up as loud as it can go, there's still no more self noise. But with different guitars plugged in and with the same guitar at different settings, there will definitely be different buzzes that you'll hear with this amp, especially with single coils. Uh, for this next segment, I'm going to use my Godin. Session HT uh, So I don't disturb my neighbors too much. I'm gonna have the master volume at two and a half Selecting the clean channel. Here's the gain all the way down No change Put the gain at five Now when I switch from humbucker to single coil You can hear a little bit of buzz. 
So the single coil is actually a little bit louder of a buzz at baseline than the amp is with nothing plugged in. Okay, so here's just the middle pickup. Now the humbucker. Okay, engage the crunch. Is there his single coil? Uh, I'm not real sure if the camera can pick up the noise. It's a little louder with the guitar right next to it. This is 80 watts RMS. Even though it's only one 12 inch speaker, it's a powerful 12 inch speaker. In fact, when I've, in fact, with the crunch on, I gotta turn down the master volume or it's gonna shake the neighbor's wall. So now with the humbucker and a little bit of clean crunch. Alright, let's get to the distortion. Gain at five. I'm really hearing no additional buzz at this time. Alright, let's kick it up all the way. A little bit of scratchy. Now you're definitely hearing a little bit of buzz. And this is with the humbucker on. So let me turn the volume down on the guitar to hear just the self noise. That's the volume at two and, the, at two and a half, but this you can hear down the block. the volume at like a half. Here's the volume at one. It's really not bad. Uh, with the single coil you'll hear it a little so with a single coil, it's picking up a lot of the hum. It's a 60 cycle hum. There's nothing you can do about it, but while you're playing, you don't hear the hum, you only hear the note.
Let's see if I can quiet the single coil though. Uh, turn down the volume a little bit. Adjusting the tone doesn't do much. <laughs> You don't really need any breakup from the pickup. You can turn it down and just let the tube do all the distortion work. It's not really for just bedroom playing along with the TV. But I think as long as you keep the pots a little bit greasy with the oxit, you could play a gig with it and have no problems. I'd feel fine playing a gig with it. I wouldn't expect any problems, but it's an old amp and I might want to back up though, personally. I think the only thing left to demo uh, is the foot switch and maybe hear some sounds coming from a little bit cheaper of a guitar. This is kind of a no-name brand, I think made in the Samic factory in India. I put Fender tuners on it, a brand new nut. Uh, I wired it for master volume, master tone, and a bridge neck blend. And the bridge pickup is swapped out for a made in Mexico Stratocaster pickup. So I'm putting it in fourth position. Volume two and a half. So let's uh, do a AB with the clean and the crunch. Oh yeah, and let's turn the reverb up all the way. So I can use the foot switch with the reverb too. So let's hear something like that with just the strap pickup. Okay, here's why I put the blend in, because this is just too much treble. It's, it's got the master tone on it, but even when I turn the tone down, I don't want to lose all the treble from the bridge pickup. I just want a little more bass to come in from the from the neck pickup. So what I do... Just get rid of the bite a little bit and then blend in the neck pickup. And the bass just comes rolling right in. I probably should have tuned up a little more, but you get the idea.